Thanks for joining us here for another video from Howard Piano Industries. Um, to our video today, we're out in the field and we're looking at a spinet piano and we're going to show you a demonstration of how to uh, replace the rubber lifter grommets. Um, this is a uh, chickering spinet piano, but um, similar to many other types of um, spinet pianos. And what happens is, um, here we've got the keys. <clears throat> if we go all the way back to the backs of the keys, now this would be the part that's underneath the underneath the um, music desk, but um, if we go all the way to the backs of the keys, you can see that uh, they're attached here. Um, and, and almost all pian spinet pianos, uh, the whole action is dropped down below the, uh, the level of the backs of the keys. So you can see, if we look at a close-up here, we've got uh, <clears throat> the back of the key, and then there's um, there's a screw here or a, a rod that's screwed into what's called a lifter <clears throat> lifter rod. And sometimes these are all wires all the way go going down, and at the bottom of that there will be generally an um, an elbow. This one's a little bit designed a little bit differently, but um, but more, what we're looking at here today <clears throat> are the um, replacing the lifter grommets. Okay, if uh, sometimes what can happen is these these pieces right here <clears throat> that are made of rubber you can see if I point to it here uh, there's a there's the top of it with a screw head and then this black part right here is a rubber grommet okay and what that does is those those rubber grommets can get old and dried out over time and they can make clicking noises so if you've got a spinet piano and you've got some rubber grommets and if you go to the play the key you might notice there's a clicking noise. Now this piano doesn't have clicking noises, but uh, we're just using it as a demonstration to show you how to how to replace these grommets. Now here I've taken at this end I've taken one of the one of the screws out. Okay, uh, and what I what you do to get these out is if you just give a little there we go. You give a little push. You can see that it, it just fits into the end of this fork. So if I were to push it out, you can use a screwdriver or something to to push it out of the end of the fork and the end of the key and you can see there's a grommet there. And what I've done here on this I'm just going to put that back. <clears throat> what I've done here on this key here is I've taken the screw all the way out. Okay, so you can see here's the end of the 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 wood rod, and I've uh, unscrewed this out of the out of the end of the the rod so that I could get access to these these grommets. Okay, so <clears throat> replacing those grommets is is usually necessary if it gets to the point where you're getting clicking noises, and um, fairly easy. You just have to take them out, and sometimes um, you know it's a little bit different configuration, but in this one. This is what we've got here. Is, is those um, we call them spinet lifter, spinet donut lifter grommets because they're round <clears throat> and uh, in a donut shape. So, so that's how to replace them. You just take, of course, the grommet off of the screw, uh, put the new grommet on, and then screw it back in, and then adjust uh, for. Um, for lost motion, okay, which we'll show in another video uh, how to do on spinet pianos, but uh, fairly easy to do. Just takes a little bit of time because you got to unscrew each screw out of each um, off of each key, and then take the grommet out and replace it with a new one, and then regulate the lost motion. Just feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Uh, our website is howardpianoindustries.com.